Hi, gang, this is Mr. Mark coming to you from my beautiful palatial apartment in downtown Bolton, Massachusetts. Well, I don't know how palatial it is. It has two rooms and a fridge. But anyway, I'm very excited to tell you about the new weekend position I just got to fund all my holiday shopping. Yes, I have the uniform of that job right underneath this jacket. And I'm going to take it off now. I'm unzipping my jacket to reveal the uniform. Are you ready to see this? Here it is, guys. I'm an elf. What do you think? The only Jewish elf in the entire North Pole. Now, admittedly, it is a long commute. It takes about three days for me to drive up there. And by the time, time I get there, the weekend is over. But it's a logistical element that will work out. Well, anyway, it, there's only one thing missing from the outfit. What do you think it is, gang? A hat! Every good elf must wear a hat. So I've got some here to try on. I want, I want to see what you think. First of all, what do you think of these guys? I will have the warmest ears in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, however, I am a tad vulnerable up here. I don't know. Yeah, it might not cover that. This isn't going to work. Let me have a put on a different hat. Let's see. Let's see what you think it is. Well, all right. All right. I'm going to take it off. Not because I'm not proud of my team affiliation. It doesn't cover my ears. I'm taking it off. Oh, wait, I have the best hat of all. Are you ready, kids? When do you see it? Look at this hat. Oh, when do you see it? Oh, kids, what do you think? How do I look? Kids? K kids? Hello? Kid oh, there, there you are. Oh, now where's my, where's my head? Did anyone see? My head is not in here. Where is my, I can't feel my, oh, here, I don't need my head. I just have my glasses. That's all I need. Oh, by the way, wait a second. I'm going to do something. I'm, I'm going to do something. Folks, what am I? That's right. I'm the elf on the shelf. Yes. All right, here I am back again. Now, I'm not just an ordinary elf. I am a musical elf. I am going to play. I'm the only elf who plays a kazoo. Wait a second. Here it is. Take a look at this kazoo. Hand-carved wooden kazoo. There's only three of their kind in the entire state of Massachusetts. I, of course, have the other two. But just to play something on my kazoo isn't enough. This year, we need more excitement. So for your listening enjoyment, I have invited the entire Mormon Tabernacle Choir into my apartment to sing, to sing the accompaniment. Guys, guys, how are you? Is everybody... They had to scrunch a little, but they're going to do this. We're going to do this. Only for you would we do it. I'm going to start the song off by playing Jingle Bells on my kazoo dashing through the snow. And then when the time comes, I'm going to ask the Mormon Tabernacle Choir to play, to sing uh, Jingle Bells. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Folks! How do you like that? Norm, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Okay, folks, you're dismissed. Was that a beauty or what? Now, elves don't just play music. They also do magical things. And before your very eyes right here, I am going to make magic. I am going to bring to you all the greatest gift. Are you ready to see it? Here we go. I have my hat. And I have my magic wand that also doubles, by the way, as an ice scraper. Yes, so uh, at, at, at least if it doesn't do magic, I can get the, the ice off my windshield. But anyway, it should do magic. I'm going to try right now. After all, I am an elf. Here we go. I'm going to bring everybody the greatest gift. Are we ready? I say the magic words, Alakazam. Alakazift. It's time to bring the greatest gift. Oh, here it comes. 
Here it comes, guys. Wait do you see the greatest gift is coming. Wait do you see the greatest gift. The, uh, wait, oh. Listen, I hope it's better at, at scraping ice than it is at doing magic. But we're going to try again. That, that was only my first trick. The second one ought to be a lot better. Here we go. Alakazam! Alakazif! It's time to bring the greatest gift! Oh, 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 I think I see it. I think I see it. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful box. The greatest gift is in here. Let me see what it is. Oh, 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 wait, that is not the greatest gift. That is not the greatest gift of mouse. No, 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 no. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get a new wand. I gotta get a new wand. All right, wait, we're gonna try one more time. We're gonna try one more time, all right? Alakazam, Alakazif, it's time to bring the greatest gift. Wait, this could be it. This could be it. And here it is, folks, the greatest gift. What, do you, what is it? That's right, a book is the greatest gift. Now, rather than read from the book, it's, it would take too long. I have penned a shorter verse, a, a, a shorter narrative. It's my annual holiday ode. And I'm going to read you that instead. The holiday ode. I want for, your, for, for everybody to enjoy the holidays. I, I write one every year. And this one is called, are we ready? I have to take off my glasses, nobody minds. The Christmas Conversion. The Christmas Conversion, here we go. The librarian was doubtful. There was a guy on Christmas night who went around and gave out toys. She said a Santa Claus, yeah, right. And I don't believe in elves, she said or little dudes that dance and play. My Uncle Louie looks like one, but he's a CPA. He sees you when you're sleeping. I just can't believe that's true. She said if there's a Santa Claus, he'd have better things to do. But before her eyes that night, as she was dusting off a shelf, right in her library, there stood the man himself. How on earth did you get in here, she asked to Santa Claus. You couldn't fit through the book drop, and I double locked the doors. He winked, then handed her a gift that brought her gladness to its peaks. She said, that's the Danielle Steele I've been trying to find for weeks. It was right then that she knew that she had truly faltered. There was a Santa Claus and her belief system was altered. Then she watched Santa depart, and into the, so the sky soon climb, shouting, Merry Christmas now to all, and please you return your books on time. Well, there it is, guys. There it is, this year's holiday video, and I hope you enjoyed it. We did a little magic. We had a little poetry. We had a uh, nice fashion. So uh, anyway, I, I hope you all have a great holiday. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas. And I hope to see you very soon in the library. All right, thanks a lot, gang.